Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this very simple wine tote, but you could also hold other bottles, non-alcoholic or even liquor bottles in this wine tote as well. For this project, I'm going to be using size four medium weight acrylic yarn, and this is just the Big Twist Value brand. I'm also going to be using a size G or six or 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. And we are going to begin our project with a magic circle. We're going to chain two, and then we're going to place 12 double crochets inside of it. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I will have my stitch tutorials listed down there for you. And once you have your 12 double crochets inside your magic circle, then we're just going to pull on that tail to tighten the gap in that hole there. And from here we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet stitch here. So we're going to skip that chain and diving right into our first double crochet we're going to place a slip stitch. And once you have your slip stitch in place then we're going to chain two and we're going to place two double crochets in that same stitch where we just worked where we placed our slip stitch. And I'm going to work over my tail, but that's just an option that you have. You certainly don't have to do this. And we are going to place two double crochets in each stitch in our row. So when you get to the end of your row, you should have a total of 24 double crochets and a chain two. And again, when you get to the end of your row, we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet stitch and sort of skip that chain all together. And the pattern for this next row is going to be to chain two, and then we're going to place one double crochet back in that same stitch where we already placed our slip stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. And then we're just going to alternate between one and two double crochets going all the way around our row. And when we get to the end of our row, we should have a total of 36 double crochet stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, again, we are just going to slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet stitch, and then we're going to chain two. And from here, we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch in our row, but we're going to place our double crochet in the back loop only. So working in this same stitch where we already worked, we're just going to only work in the back loop only of that same stitch. And then we're just going to work in the back loop only of each stitch for the rest of our row. So when you get to the end of your row, you should have a total of 36 double crochets in the back loop only and a chain two. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet just like before. And for this row, we're going to be working in the top portion of our double crochet stitches, as well as these front loops only from our previous row. So what we're going to do first is locate our current front loop only, which is directly below this stitch where we placed our slip stitch. So right here. Then we're going to skip a front loop only, and then we're going to place a triple crochet in that next front loop. So to do that, you're going to yarn over twice, then insert your crochet hook up underneath that front loop only. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the loop. Then we're going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we finish out the stitch. And now working back up in the top portion of our stitches, we're going to find the stitch where we've already placed our slip stitch, which is right here. And then working in the next stitch over, we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches. And from here, we're going to begin the repeatable part of this pattern. So go ahead and yarn over twice for your triple crochet. Then we're going to insert our crochet hook back up underneath that same front loop where we already placed our first triple crochet. And we're going to yarn over and drop the loop. Then we're going to drop two loops at a time until we only have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. And then working back in our front loops, we're going to skip three of our front loops. And working in that fourth front loop only, we're going to yarn over and then insert our crochet hook in that loop. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the loop, and then yarn over and drop two loops. And when you have three loops remaining on your crochet hook, you're going to yarn over and drop all three loops. 
And working back up in our current row where we have our double crochet stitches, we're going to locate our current stitch, then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches. And then from here, we're just going to repeat that repeatable section all the way around our row. And just for clarity's sake, I'm going to repeat this one more time for you. So go ahead and yarn over twice, and then we're going to insert our crochet hook back up underneath that last front loop we were working on. We're going to yarn over and drop the loop. Then we're going to drop two loops at a time until only two loops remain on our crochet hook. And then we're going to skip three of our front loop onlys and working in that fourth front loop from our current loop we're going to yarn over and insert our crochet hook in that loop. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the loop, then we're going to drop two loops and then drop three loops. Now from here we're going to go back up into our current row. And this is the stitch that we've already worked in, so we're going to skip a stitch and then working in that next stitch, we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches. And then we're just going to repeat this going all the way around the row. And when you get to the end of your row, I'm going to show you how to join these last two stitches here. So go ahead and yarn over twice and then we're going to insert our crochet hook back up underneath that same front loop yarn over and drop the loop, then we're going to drop two loops at a time until we have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. And then we're going to insert our crochet hook up underneath this very first triple crochet. And we're working up underneath the stem that forms that stitch. We're just going to yarn over and drop all the loops on our crochet hook for a slip stitch. And from here, we're going to chain two and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to place a double crochet right up underneath our chain two. So kind of right here. And then we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch in our row. So when we get to the end of our row, we should have a total of 36 double crochets and a chain two. And again, when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet stitch. So the pattern for this row, we're going to start by working in these two stems right here that are joined directly below your crochet hook. So to do that, we're going to yarn over twice and then insert our crochet hook up underneath both of those stems. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the two stems and then we're going to drop two loops until we only have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. And from here, we're going to yarn over and then working up underneath this next peak right here, we're going to insert our crochet hook up underneath those two stems. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the two stems, yarn over and drop two loops, and then yarn over and drop three loops. And working back up in our current row, we're going to find the stitch where we've already worked, then we're going to skip a stitch, and then we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches here. And from here, I'm going to show you the repeatable pattern. So we're going to yarn over twice and then insert our crochet hook back up underneath the stems that formed our latest peak that we've already worked in. We're going to yarn over and drop that peak and then we're going to drop two loops at a time until only two loops remain on our crochet hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and then insert our crochet hook up underneath the stems that form the next peak that we haven't worked in. We're going to yarn over and drop that peak then we're going to drop two loops and then we're going to drop three loops. And working back up in this top portion of our double crochet stitches, we're going to locate our current stitch. Then we're going to skip a stitch and then we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches. And from here, we're just going to repeat that process going all the way around our row. And I'm going to show you how to join these last two at the end of your row. 
So go ahead and yarn over twice and then we're going to insert our crochet hook back up underneath that same peak where we've already worked and yarn over and pull through. Then we're going to yarn over and drop two loops at a time until we have two loops remaining on our crochet hook. And from here we're going to yarn over and then insert our crochet hook up underneath this first peak that we already worked. Yarn over and pull through the peak. Then we're going to yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop three loops. Working back up in the row where we've already worked, we're going to locate our current stitch, which is right here. Then we're going to skip a stitch and then we're going to place one single crochet in our next three stitches. And from here, we are going to slip stitch into our next stitch right here. And from here, we're going to repeat those last two rows. So we're going to chain two and place a double crochet in that same stitch. Then we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch around our row. Then we're going to repeat the process of working in our previous rows peaks. And then we're just going to keep repeating those two rows over and over and over again to form the body of our wine tote. I went ahead and repeated those two rows a total of 15 times to build the body of my wine tote. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to build the handles for our wine tote. So go ahead and chain one and place a single crochet in that same stitch where you already placed your slip stitch. And we're going to place one single crochet in our next eight stitches. And once you've placed your nine single crochets, then we're going to chain nine. And after you've chained nine, then we're going to skip nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in your 10th stitch, you're going to place a single crochet. And then again, we're going to place one single crochet in our next eight stitches. And once you've placed your nine single crochets again, then we're going to chain nine. And from here, we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet from this row. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to place one single crochet back in that same stitch. And then we're going to place one single crochet in our next eight stitches again. And once you've placed your nine single crochets, then we're going to work around our chain. So not working in the top of the chain, but instead working completely around the entire thing. And what we're going to do is place nine single crochets around our chain. So to do that, you're going to insert your crochet hook up underneath your chain, yarn over and draw up through that chain, then yarn over and drop two loops. And you're just going to repeat that so that you have nine single crochets. And once you have your nine single crochets, then we're going to work back in our stitches for nine more single crochets. And again, we're going to work nine single crochets around our chain. And from here, we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet from this row. And then from here, we're going to chain one and place a single crochet in that same stitch. And then we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And when it comes to the single crochet stitches that you placed around your chain, just continue to work in the top portion of that stitch, just like you've been working for the rest of the stitches in your row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your first single crochet stitch. And then we're going to repeat that last row by placing a chain one and a single crochet in that same stitch. And then we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And you're just going to repeat that row over and over and over again until you get the handles to your desired thickness. And I went ahead and repeated that row four times. And so now I'm going to cut and tie off my yarn. And I'm going to weave my tail up the inside of my wine tote and try to make sure I avoid the hole of my handle while I'm doing that. 
and please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.